Once you're set up in our course and you sign in, this is the page that you'll see, and you always want to go back to Course Home as your start page. Across the top, you'll see the library, which contains all the readings for the course and assignments, which is the main thing that you're going to need. Also, if you want to get to these items, you can navigate to them on the left side menu as well. But once you're ready to start an assignment, you'll click on it. And let's start with this one. And you'll see instructions here and then click on work on assignment. And then you'll see the instructions over here on the right again. Uh, you can minimize this if you want more space to read. So close your window and you can see it here. And then as you scroll through, you'll see places where other people have already highlighted and commented. So the first question is, how do you create a new post? So let's say you're reading this article and you see uh, Michael Brown and you want to post something about him. You can just highlight that name and then a dialog box will pop up and you can say, I found details of this incident here and you could add the link. You know, you can type whatever you want here. Um, as long as it's substantial here, you would want to go on and explain something more about what's important um, about what happened in this incident. And then once you finish your post, you just click submit. Also notice there's a few other things you can put in here. You can add emojis, you can change the font, um, other things that you can play with. You play with this as you get more comfortable. But once you have your post written, you'll click submit. And now other people can respond to your post. If you want to flag a post as a question after you hit submit, you can click this to say I to highlight a question so that people know you're looking for an answer. And then you can look at other people's posts. So anytime you see something highlighted, somebody else has posted. So let's say here. Um, and you can see other people, somebody has flagged something as a question, several people have chimed in on this comment, so you can add, I also agree, and then go on and add whatever you would like. Um, and so, and again, hit submit when you're done. Um, so, you know, navigating this is pretty easy. Um, and um, if you minimize this page so that you can see the full screen, um, anytime you click on somebody else's comments, the little sidebar will pop up, um, but also you have this side menu. So the side menu, you can click here for information about an assignment. Um, you can click here, you know, if you're high, uh, on a particular conversation, you can just go to that conversation. If you want to look at all conversations, you can go through here. Um, you can star conversations. Uh, there are a few other features here if you want um, the system to read aloud to you, you have that option. You can also create your own notes. So these are not shared with other people. Um, so if there's other things you want to keep track of, you can do that in perusal. Another thing I want to show you is that if you, let's say you don't love reading on a screen um, and you would rather have like something printed um, or you would rather be able to put something into a tablet so you can look at it, up here you can um, print or download the reading. Uh, and so you can just click on these icons and click through the pages um, and download whatever you like. Now, if you do this, like let's say you download a PDF of this document and save it to your computer, you still have to come back here to actually put in your comments, right? You still have to do that in perusal, but it gives you a little more flexibility um, for different ways that you prefer to read. I do recommend that you play with this a little bit and get used to the program. Try a few different things, see what seems interesting to you. Um, you know, try different ways of um, commenting and interacting with your classmates. It is possible in here to have discussions with your classmates um, through the chat feature. Uh, you can also use hashtags if you would like. Um, you, I'll let you all decide as a class whether that's something that you want to do. Um, but, you know, this is the basic course. Um, you may see things like my scores in here. Um, I can't really uh, make this work with our grade book, so you can just ignore that. Um, focus instead on the assignments page to get you wherever you need to go.